Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'm gonna react to the things you thought about animals, but they're not true. I'm not, I'm gonna know some of these facts, though. You guys are smart. <laughs> Welcome to Facts About Everything. This week, we're looking at misconceptions. Today's topic is animals. Let's get started. Number one, the platypus is the only mammal that can lay eggs. No, it's not. The spiny anteater, also known as the pangolin, can know. also lay eggs. Number two, the platypus is harmless. No, it's not. Despite what it looks like, a platypus is actually venomous. I mean, it wouldn't kill a human, but it does sting like hell. Also, it'd be pretty embarrassing to go to a hospital because you got attacked by a platypus. <laughs> Number three, anteaters are harmless. No, they're not. Okay, anteaters are very slow, nearly deaf, almost blind, you toothless, and it only eats ants. How much damage could it really do to a human? A lot. People have actually been killed by anteaters due to their huge claws. If you ever see an anteater, stay away from it. Misconception number four, kangaroos are harmless. Jeez, Despite the fact that kangaroos look harmless? really cute, they can be dangerous to humans. Their springy legs are no, so powerful that they can easily shatter your bones with one swift kick. They're also dangerous boxers and box rival kangaroos to death. Misconception number five, millipedes and centipedes are harmless. I wish centipedes were harmless. Actually, both of these insects have cyanide, which can be lethal to a child if it is ingested. Misconception number six, centipedes have a hundred legs. What? A 100-legged centipede has never been found, ever, Does at any point in history. 100? In fact, only one centipede has ever been found that had an even amount of legs. That's For some true. reason, centipedes have an odd number of legs. Misconception number seven, millipedes have a thousand legs. No, it means... Obviously, based off the word mill, as in millennium, people think thousand. Although, when I was a kid, I did hear it was 200. Either way, neither of those are true. Like centipedes, the number of legs varies. It can have over 100 legs, or it can have over 300. There is no set number. Misconception number eight. Jellyfish propel themselves forward with their tentacles. Okay. No, that's an octopus. A jellyfish's tentacles are only used to catch and sting prey. Jellyfish end. move by taking in water through its bell and squirting it out, which jettisons it forward. Misconception number nine. You should urinate on a jellyfish sting. This misconception became very popular thanks to the TV show Friends. Why do we think Friends is a reliable source of scientific information? Yeah. That was a great episode, though. There is no one cure for jellyfish things. Every jellyfish has different toxins. Vinegar can stop the pain and infection almost immediately for one kind of jellyfish, but it will kill you if you use it for a different kind. The best thing to do is spray the wound with salt water, don't ever use drinking water, then wrap it with a towel, and then immediately go to a doctor. Okay, for these next two ones, I want you to do something. I want you, in your mind, to think of the name of a jellyfish. And if you think you're quite smart, try and name two jellyfish okay. types. You got them? Okay. okay. Here goes. Misconception number 10. The box jellyfish is a jellyfish. A true jellyfish has a bowl-shaped head, which is known as the bell. As the box jellyfish's name suggests, a box jellyfish has a cube-shaped bowl and would be classified as a cubozoan, not a jellyfish. Misconception number 11. The Portuguese man-o-war is a jellyfish. Not That's only no. is a Portuguese man-o-war not a jellyfish, it's not even a single species. It's called a siphonophore, which means it's a colony of organisms that work in unity. It's made of four separate polyps. Now let's look at some other animals that are not what they seem. Misconception number 12. Greyhounds are grey. Greyhounds are actually faint Who's... blue. The name greyhound comes from the German word greschend, which means old hound. Misconception number 13. A dormouse is a mouse. Some people also call this creature a door mouse, but it's not a mouse, nor is it a door. It's a gliridae rodent and is not a part of the mouse family. Conception number 14, black rhinos or black? What? No, they're gray. Misconception number 15, white rhinos are white? No, they're gray. Did you notice wow. I use exactly the same footage for both of those videos? <laughs> Lazy. They're gray. The reason why these rhinos are so called is because their lips. Black rhinos and white rhinos are gray, but the black rhino has black lips while the white rhino has white lips. Misconception number 16. A mountain goat is a goat. No, a mountain oh, goat is a actually sheep? an antelope. Do people even try to name animals? Misconception number 17. The black mamba snake is black. No, nope, it gets its name because the inside of its mouth is black. Uh -huh. 
Misconception number 18. The black bear is black. No, black bears okay. can be black, but they can also be white, brown, cinnamon, and sometimes even blue. Can Where? we just fire the guy who's in charge of naming animals? Misconception number 19. Electric eels are eels. An eel isn't just any long serpent like fish. An eel belongs to the anguilliform family. Electric eels are knife fish, which are more genetically related to goldfish and catfish than eels. Misconception number 20. A cat arches its back and hisses upon seeing a predator because it's angry and ready to fight. Most people know it arches its back to look bigger than it is, but that's oh, not because it wants to fight. It's because it's terrified. It's a bluff. It's pretending it's really big because it does not want to fight. Misconception number 21. Cats should drink milk. Cats really are lactose intolerant. Milk. milk is more damaging to a cat than seawater. Misconception number 22. Dogs are colorblind. A dog's spectrum isn't as wide as ours, but they do not see things like an old black and white movie. They can see blue, violet, and yellow very clearly. The only strong color they can see is green. But green blind doesn't have the same ring to it as colorblind. Misconception number 23. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. This is just an expression that some people take seriously. Old dogs are capable of learning new techniques and tricks. Misconception number 24. Dogs have the best sense of smell in the no, animal they kingdom. Do not. Bees have a better sense of smell than dogs. However, it's the African elephant that has the strongest sense of smell in the animal kingdom. Their sense of smell is four times better than a bloodhound. Grizzly bears are a close second. Misconception number 25. If a bear attacks you, play dead. Unless you can control your breathing perfectly while a 2,000 pound bear is sniffing at you, you're gonna get killed. To survive a bear attack, like the best technique is to get naked. Hear me out. Take off your sock, place it on the ground, and casually walk away. Once it looks like really? it's starting to get bored, take off your other sock, okay. place it on the ground, casually walk away. A bear will examine anything it finds for up to five minutes. So, five minutes? once you're pretty much naked, you should be far away, which will give you a really good head start. The only problem with this technique is you're naked. Uh, the bear now has your scent because you gave it all your clothes, okay. and you're naked. Apparently, a bear can be distracted by toothpaste. Bear's been known to tear down entire cabins to devour some Colgate toothpaste. So Good maybe bribe him with some? But the problem with that is, if you give him so many loves it, he'll assume you have more. But you'd still be naked. <laughs> Misconception number 26. Bears love honey. I Although bears do attack bee beehives, they prefer to eat the bee larvae, not the honey. So, Winnie the Pooh is a liar. Misconception number 27. All polar bears are left-handed. This is that? one of those facts that sounds so random, you assume it has to be true, because who would make it up? But someone did. Misconception number 28. Polar bears came from the Arctic Circle. Daniel Bradley and Dr. Caradwin Edwards at Oxford University collaborated with Beth Shapiro to analyze the DNA of the polar bear and learned it originated from the extinct Irish brown bear. This means that all polar bears are left-handed. Misconception number 29. Polar bears and penguins live in the same area. They live in opposite no. poles. This is a bit of a double misconception because some people think, oh, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that the polar bears are on the North Pole and the penguins are in the South Pole. However, most polar bears actually are in Canada. In fact, there are some Canadian towns that have more polar bears than people. Misconception number 30. Polar bears are white. Each individual hair is a clear hollow tube called guard hair that looks white because of its reflected light. I wrote that polar bear fact in my book, 365 Things That People Believe That Aren't I True. Forget, I, I received I more already. complaints They're about black. that fact than anything I have ever written. I've written 58 books. Overall, let's just say that's like 50,000 facts. That's the one, that polar bears aren't white. I thought that was the best fact to end this on because there's usually two ways to react to facts like this or misconception like this, which is the positive way where you go, oh, that's really interesting. I thought this, but actually this was true. And then there's a negative way going, oh, that's rubbish, that's garbage, blah, 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 and so on. See, the first one, you're just accepting it, but you might research it because I could be wrong, but you won't know. And the other person just dismissing it where I've given it a shot. They could research it to prove they're right or wrong, but they don't. They just dismiss it. The reason they dismiss it is because they've believed something for so long that any alternative <laughs> facts or even superior facts just seems wrong. If I just accepted other facts, I would have never found out any of these misconceptions.
My point is, I don't want you to just agree with everything I say if you don't want to. If you feel like some facts are dubious, go ahead, research them. You could be wrong, I could be wrong. A few years ago, the panda, they found a gene in it and they realized it wasn't a bear, it was actually a raccoon. A few what? years later, they recategorized it as a bear, realizing that they made a mistake. You see, facts do oh, change. I, I have to say. update these all the Hello time the because sometimes they can be true only temporarily and then they change over time. Thanks for watching. Hope what you learned something say. new and I'll see you tomorrow. Zegan and today for Dove and Wikipedia, the same page will come up. However, there. Doves and pigeons are different species. Pigeons and doves are in the They're same the species, species columbidae. In fact, if you type in They're pigeon or thing. dove on Wikipedia, the same page will come up. However, there's 310 species of the columbidae family. But when you hear the word pigeon, you think of this guy. This is actually called a rock dove. Flamingos are pink because they eat shrimp. Flamingos are pink because they eat blue-green algae. King cobras are cobras. Cobras what? exist in the family known as Naha or Naja. The king cobra is the sole member of its own Speaks. genus called <laughs> Ophiophagus. They are so called because they eat cobras and are considered the king of cobras. The first animal to be domesticated was the dog. It wasn't the dog or the cat or the horse or the sheep. It was... The reindeer. Mongolians okay. domesticated the creature 14,000 years ago. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer is male. Rudolph is female because she has antlers. Male reindeer lose their antlers in winter. Turkeys come from North oh. America. No, and it's not turkey either. Despite their association with Thanksgiving, turkeys originally came from Mexico. The starfish is the best animal in the world at regenerating its body. If you chop a starfish's leg off, it will regenerate. If you cut it in two, they will turn into two starfish. There's also this idea that if you chop one off, that will turn into a starfish, but that's not true. But the starfish is a pretty remarkable animal with regenerating itself. But it cannot hold a candle to the regenerating power of the flatworm. This thing is like Wolverine on steroids. This 20 millimeter creature doesn't look remarkable, but if you cut off one 279th of its body, that piece can regenerate into a new flatworm. This means if you cut it into 279 individual pieces, it can potentially regrow into 279 flatworms. Lobsters have always been associated with the wealthy. Lobsters can cost $40, which is about 30 pounds. However, they were so abundant during the 18th and 19th century that they were fed to pigs. Used as bait to catch other fish and their shells were used as fertilizer. Lobsters were so popular in North America that they would wash ashore in piles up to two foot high. Caviar has always been associated with the wealthy. In the 19th century, caviar was served for free at bars like peanuts. Nowadays, the most expensive caviar, beluga caviar, costs from $7,000 to $10,000 and possibly your soul. Zebras have stripes for camouflage. Unless the grass is black and white, zebras aren't gonna be fooling anybody. Fuzzy. Flies are attracted to black surfaces, so they tend to chill out. Oh my God, so long screen. Animals with dark skin. A zebra's black stripes protect them from the sun, but the white stripes confuse the flies, so insects don't often land on them. All big cats are dangerous to humans. Snow leopards no. don't display aggressive behavior towards oh, humans. Okay. There has never been a verified snow leopard attack on a human being. Beetles and bugs are similar to each other. A bug is simply any insect with a sucking mouth part. A beetle is an insect with hard forewings called elytra and a plated exoskeleton. A beetle is an endopterygote, which means it undergoes a metamorphosis where the entire body changes throughout its life. Mushers say mush to husky dogs to make them run faster. It's hard to hear in a snowstorm, so people will not say mush because the sound doesn't carry well. Instead, they say hike. Cryptozoology is a pseudoscience. Cryptozoology is the study of animals that may or may not exist. Sea monsters, Bigfoot, and the Loch Ness Monster would fit in this category. It may seem stupid for anyone to take cryptozoology seriously. Megan Fox gets mocked all the time because she adamantly believes in Bigfoot. It's not really that out Outlandish to think that a large bipedal primate exists somewhere on Earth that humans haven't discovered because it's intelligent enough to avoid being found.
However, oh Europeans laughed when they heard Aborigines talk of a deer with two heads, Wait, one coming from out of its stomach, leaping around like a frog. Then oh, one day, kangaroo. they saw a kangaroo. Wow. Scientists thought the platypus was just a beaver with a duckbill super glued to its face. <laughs> sea serpents are not mythological. They have been caught alive. They're called oar fish and they measure up to 60 feet long. People laughed at the idea of a land crocodile until they saw the Komodo dragon How's in 1927. The first time Andrew battle saw a gorilla in the 19th century yeah, he was teased for finding the so-called manny but what about a cryptid discovered recently well there's actually one that was discovered within our lifetime for years whales have been found with enormous wounds that appear to come from a sea monster it was speculated that there was an undiscovered squid even more colossal than the giant squid it was found recently this colossal squid is called the colossal squid <laughs> it's not a particularly original name but what else are you going to call it? Ostriches have the strongest kick in the animal kingdom. No, and it's not the giraffe either. Oh. It's the zebra. Oh. It can kick with a force of 15,000 newtons. That's enough power to kill a lion with one kick. A professional boxer can punch a person with a force of 3,300 newtons, which would be strong enough to break a rib. This means that any zebra in the world is over four times stronger than Mike Tyson was in his prime. The animal that builds the biggest nest is the ostrich. Actually, it's the gorilla. Gorillas make a new nest That's every really night. Boring. The animal that lays the largest egg is the ostrich. No, no it's the whale shark. The animal yeah. that lays the largest egg in proportion to its size is the ostrich. Okay, at this point, it sounds like I have a personal... Are you sure that's not the largest egg? every night the animal that lays the largest egg is the ostrich no it's the whale shark the animal that lays the largest egg in proportion to its size is the ostrich okay at this point it sounds like i have a personal vendetta against ostriches but it does not have this title either this distinction goes to the kiwi the egg makes up 25 percent of the kiwi's body what? that bird that lays the smallest egg proportion to its size is the wren no it is the ostrich <laughs> Although the ostrich lays a bigger egg than any other bird, 2.5 pounds, the ostrich weighs about 400 pounds. This means the egg is less than 1% of the bird's overall weight. Everyone knows what a bald eagle sounds like. This is what people think what a bald eagle sounds like. That does not sound like that. That is the sound of a red-tailed hawk. It uses a bald eagle cry because it sounds more patriotic. What does that mean? How's a bird sound patriotic? This is what a bald eagle actually sounds like. Yeah. That was impressive. Hippos are slow. Despite weighing no. over three tons, no, a hippo can run 30 miles an hour. That's faster than Usain Bolt. So if a hippo starts chasing you, goodbye. The first farm animals were sheep. Snails were the first farm animals in 10,700 BC. If you cut an earthworm in two, it becomes two earthworms. No, that's starfish. Snails have shells and slugs don't. Snails and slugs are very similar. The only real main difference between the two is slugs live for about one to six years and snails live up to 25 years. However, to understand the that's subtler true. differences between the two species, you would need a comprehensive biological understanding of gastropods. It would take at least 10 pages to explain and require the use of words like basamathophora and papillodermatoidea. Spell check doesn't even register those words. Long story short, some slugs wear a shell and some snails bear no shell. The shell is not a defining characteristic of either creature. An octopus has eight legs. I love this one because what? it takes about five guesses for people to get this right. It's not eight, it's not ten, and it's not zero. Wait. Something is afoot with this whole affair. You'd think one of his family killed him. You love twisting the knife into one another. What is this? I got it. Um, they have six legs and they have two arms. That's Euro. the only thing. It has two legs and six arms. We move yeah, our bodies exactly. with our legs and we use our arms for everything else. Octopi use their six arms to eat and to grab things. And they use their two longer tentacles to That's propel themselves exactly forward in a I similar fashion that. to how human beings swim. Marsupials only live in Australia. Marsupial. Although marsupials like kangaroos and koalas can only be found in the wild in Australia, opossums reside throughout North America and possums have recently been introduced in China. I call the big one bitey. Elephants have a lot of bones in their trunk. There are no bones whatsoever in an elephant's trunk. It is made up of 40,000 muscles. Human beings are the only animals that have funerals. Elephants bury their dead and mourn other elephants. It is not uncommon for an elephant to suffer depression after one of its herd dies. Tigers are mostly found in the jungle. There's more tigers in Texas. 
than there are in the entire world combined. Lobsters are red. Lobsters are red after they're cooked. Most lobsters are blue, so it's hard for predators to see them underwater. Mammoths went extinct in the Ice Age 15,000 years ago. Mammoths only went extinct 4,600 years ago. They were around when the pyramids were being built. Mammoths were gigantic hairy elephants. Not all mammoths were big. The Cretan dwarf mammoth was only three foot four, which is exactly one meter. Lionesses don't have manes. Maned lionesses are quite common in the Mamba area of Botswana. Oh falcons are related to hawks and eagles. Although hawks and eagles are in the same bird family, the falcon is more related to the parrot than these birds of prey. Okay. All owls are nocturnal. The northern hawk owl and the burrowing owl are diurnal, which means that they're only active during the day. Ostriches bury their head in the sand when they are threatened. How they breathe. <laughs> All apes walk on their hands. Gibbons naturally walk, operate like a human being. Human beings are the only animals that experience menopause. Killer whales also experience menopause. Never ask how anyone figured that out. All vultures eat meat. The palm nut vulture is a vegetarian. And finally, a panther is a huge black cat. A panther isn't a specific animal. A panther is any cat that can roar. So a tiger, a lion, a jaguar are all panthers. Most people picture Bagheera from the Jungle Book when they think of a panther. Bagheera is a black leopard. Black leopards have spots, but they're very hard to distinguish. There is no big cat that is completely black in the way Bagheera is depicted in the film. Special thanks to these fine people for all their help. Be sure to subscribe to Facts About... Okay, last one. <laughs> I knew more of them than I expected. Greetings, welcome to Facts About Everything. I'm your host, James Egan. If I asked you what the smartest bird in the world is, what would you say? If you said an owl, funny enough, the owl is probably the dumbest bird in the animal kingdom. See, the Greek god of wisdom, Athena, is often seen holding an owl in sculptures and paintings, so owls were often associated with wisdom. Since the owl's eyes are so big in its skull, there isn't enough space for a big brain. The smartest bird is the crow, and that is the first of 20 misconceptions we're going to look at about animals. Let's dive in. Giraffes have a lot of neck bones. A giraffe huh? only has seven neck vertebrae, like most mammals, including us. Apes eat bananas. If an ape is offered a banana, it will eat it. However, natural bananas only grow in Papua New Guinea. Apes usually eat berries, flowers, bark, stems, and roots. Saying all apes eat bananas is like saying humans only eat ice cream. Rats cause the Black Death. No, and it wasn't fleas either. It was squirrels. <laughs> Marmot squirrels from Mongolia gradually spread the disease as they're extremely prone to the bubonic plague, which, by the way, still exists to this day and has existed for about 5,000 years. These mammals spread the parasite to fleas and rats and eventually humans. Yeah. Technically, they've killed more humans than any animal on Earth, apart from mosquitoes, with a death toll of over squirrels 1 billion. Kill I now, don't get me wrong, I'm not defending rats. After all, rats are a minor nuisance. In rural or poor regions, rats destroy or contaminate up to 40% of all food. They can eat up to 20% of crops and then eat another 20% of grain in storage. Throughout the world, rats are thought to eat or destroy up to 10% of all food that humans produce. The world's fastest animal is the cheetah. Most sources say the cheetah can run 60 miles an hour. There has been some cases where it runs 71 miles per hour. However, there's one animal that can move nearly three times as fast. When the peregrine falcon descends on its prey, it can fly downward at over 200 miles per hour. But technically, it can only do that going down, so part of it is falling. The fastest natural animal in the world is the swift. This bird can reach speeds at 106 miles per hour for long periods of time and even while it's sleeping. The world's laziest animal is the sloth. Sloth? I don't know. Although some reports say that the sloth sleeps for 20 hours, it's more like 10 hours. However, it is the koala that is the laziest animal on Earth. It is only awake for two hours per day. If a goldfish floats at the top of a fish tank, it's dead. Most people Wait, don't what? know how much to feed a fish, so most owners just give it a lot of food and assume it'll stop when it's full. But most animals are not programmed that way. In the wild, animals don't know when the next meal will come. It could be weeks or even months. If they see 
see food, they will devour it all. If a goldfish eats too much food, it will become constipated. To deal with this, it will float at the top of the fish tank for about three or four days, waiting for its digested food to pass. After it passes, it will be back to normal. If you flush your goldfish down the toilet after you saw it floating at the top of the fishbowl, he wasn't dead. But he is now. Goldfish have a three second memory. A goldfish's memory lasts three months, which means that they must be pretty sick of seeing that castle for their 3,000th time. A goldfish only grows to the size of its bowl. It's the quality of the water that affects the goldfish's size, not the bowl. Bowls are just not ideal for goldfish because they lack proper filtration, aeration, water volume for waste dilution, and there's not enough space for biofiltration. Goldfish in their natural habitat <laughs> never stop growing and can weigh as much as 30 pounds if given full care. Piranhas can shred any animal to bones in less than a minute. US President Teddy Roosevelt created this misconception that piranhas are the most ferocious animals in the world. Don't worry, I'll talk about the most ferocious animal on Earth in a later misconception. While Teddy Roosevelt was in Brazil in 1913, he went on a hunting expedition in the Amazon rainforest. While on the Amazon River, the local fishermen really pushed a cow really into the piranha-infested water. Because the fish had been starved for days, they devour the cow quickly. The fishermen orchestrated the spectacle because they knew that if the President of the United States talked about what the fish were capable of, it would cause tourism to skyrocket. Why? Why would you want to go somewhere else where fish can kill you in two seconds? The piranha's reputation went beyond what anyone imagined after Roosevelt wrote a book about his experience in 1914 called Through the Brazilian Wilderness. The piranha's legacy as a monstrous force of nature seems cemented after they were seen devouring a woman in the James Bond film, You Only Live Twice. Because everyone knows how realistic Bond movies are. Hey, Invisible Car. Despite all this, piranhas just aren't that vicious. In fact, if you placed your hand in a pool of piranha-infested water, they would swim away because oh, yeah. they're scared of most living animals. They normally feed on carcasses. In fact, some piranhas, like the red-bellied paku, are vegetarian. Elephants love peanuts. When elephants were brought into American zoos decades ago, zookeepers would show how flexible an elephant's trunk is by putting on demonstrations for the public. One of the most common tricks elephants were expected to do was crack open a peanut without breaking the seed. Over time, people just assumed Elephants love peanuts. Elephants prefer to eat tree bark, leaves, twigs, grass, and roots. One human year is equivalent to seven years for dogs. It's inaccurate to think that when a dog is two, it is 14 in human terms. Different breeds of dog age differently to each other. So a small dog will be a toddler or teenager for a different length of time than a large dog. All animals go through different stages of maturity for different lengths of time. Tortoises spend about 100 years as a teenager. That's why they go wild and stuff in their homework. A dog wags its tail when it's happy. If the tail is low, curved, and wagging slowly, the dog is happy. If the tail is high and arched, the canine is feeling aggressive. If the tail wags to the left, the dog is anxious. If the tail wags to the right, the dog is curious. Why would just wags like absolute crazy? That's all my dog does. When a dog bears its teeth, it's in a playful mood. This looks quite okay. cute because it looks like a smile, but dogs bear their teeth to warn their prey that they will be bitten if they come any closer. A dog pulls on its leash when it gets excited. If a dog pulls on its leash, that's not a sign of happiness or eagerness. It's a sign of confusion. Most people speed up their pace when a dog does this, but that's not an effective way to train it. The dog... When did you last take the time to do nothing? And when I say nothing, I mean nothing. These days, we rarely give our minds a chance to rest. Needs to understand how the leash works so the dog owner should maintain his or her pace. Also, a dog owner should never yank a leash as the dog can easily damage its trachea. Vultures are irredeemably disgusting animals. Vultures are one of those animals that just sound like no one could like them. There's everything about them. It's disgusting. However... Vultures are actually one of the most important animals in the world because they eat 70% of all dead meat in the African regions where they live. Also, vultures don't like eating wet food, which means if there was a carcass in water, it would become contaminated. However, a vulture will try and drag it out of the water, preventing the water from being poisoned. Without vultures, there would be many more carcasses lying around Africa contaminating water. Not only are vultures immune to rabies, anthrax, salmonella, and cholera, but their bodies don't spread the diseases, they expunge them. Africa would be an ecological catastrophe no, without vultures. Know. Locusts destroy crops. Grasshoppers jump around. When you hear the word grasshopper, you probably think of a oh, colorful yeah. hopping insect that plays music by rubbing its legs. When you hear the word locust, you may think of swarms of insects that destroy crops on a biblical level. Grasshoppers and locusts 
are the same animal. Although there are different types of grasshopper, the locust's official name is a short horn grasshopper. Also, it's a misconception that grasshoppers hop because they can't fly. This isn't true. Grasshoppers have wings. That's the right. animal that has saved the most human lives is the St. Bernard. People believe that the St. Bernard used to carry small yeah. barrels of brandy attached to their collar to awaken and warm up people who got lost in snowy mountains. But the barrel would weigh down the St. Bernard, slowing it down, which is the last thing you'd need when somebody is dying in the cold. This isn't even hypothetically possible. Brandy freezes quickly. Even if it didn't, alcohol makes you feel warmer, but your body gets colder, so it would become counterproductive. The funny thing is, I mentioned that in my book, and my editor read that and go, that's not true. That can't be true. And he actually researched it, defying me, and he was like, huh, it is. So the big question is, what is the animal that has saved the most human lives? And the answer is, the horseshoe crab. You might have never heard of that name. You might recognize it, but we can't thank this crab. Well, it's not really a crab. It's more kind of like a spider. We can't thank this creature enough because it has blood that clots around invading bacteria and viruses. This is used to test every single pharmaceutical drug. So every pill, every injection, every transfusion, and every single anesthetic you have ever had is all thanks to the horseshoe crab. And finally, the most ferocious animal is the lion. No, it's the honey badger. It's not a badger, it's more like a weasel, kind of similar to the I wolverine. Know. Honey badgers literally have no fear. Honey badgers have killed hyenas, crocodiles, bears, lions, tigers, and humans. They have killed porcupines in spite of being horrendously stung. They've penetrated tortoises' hard shells through pure force. They even attack bees. What animal goes right into a beehive, gets stung hundreds of times, and continues to fight them? How insane do you have to be? A honey badger can kill and eat a venomous snake in 50 15 minutes. So you might think, what's its advantage? How come it wins fights against animals a hundred times its size? Because it goes for only one body part, the reproductive organs. Yep. A honey badger can instinctively tell where these organs are on any animal. Once this area has been attacked or removed, it doesn't matter how big an animal is, the honey badger is going to win. If you enjoyed that, let me know what other misconceptions you want me to do. Do you want me to talk about famous people, history, space, science, technology? War that was my reaction. I knew like half of them. <laughs> I never knew the honey badger was the pirates. See ya, guys. Oh my god. Polar bears are not white.